this this particular type of permafrost has a has a Russian name called Yedema, Y E D O M A, and Yedema is just a fancy Russian name for ice-rich silt. When you look at this tunnel, it looks like it's made out of dirt. But what I would urge you is to look at this thing and think of it not as a dirt tunnel with some ice, but an ice tunnel that's quite dirty. Because <laughs> I'm going to scrape back through. That's the, the desiccated layer. And now I'm back here. And if, if someone doesn't believe me here, we need someone who actually someone skeptical. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm a geologist. Okay. That's what the tunnel's made of. That's ice. That's ice. This silt, even in the places where it looks like pure silt, is 50% by volume water. 50%. In some places it's 70%. And where we hit the large ice features, it's like 98%. So this is much more, there's much more ice here than there is actually silt. Without the ice, there'd be no tunnel. So that's the first thing. This is what permafrost is like. And if, you, if, you're, if you're a skeptical type, go ahead and come over here. And Oh yeah, you know. Did you do that again? A couple times. Sure. That's permafrost, not this. That's desiccated dust. Okay, so that's that's what the permafrost is actually like. Because of the desiccation, and this is another reason we're doing the tunnel, where there's large ice features, which we'll see more in a moment, they sublimate back further, faster than the wall, which becomes coated with dust. So part of the problem. Um, it's another bone. See, bone I had actually never seen before. Um, part of the problem then is we can't stop that sublimation for a number of reasons. Hey, there are a couple places where you have a little shelf and it's, there's a cavity underneath, farther back too. That, that's that's more ice features. Well, it'll it'll make more sense here. These are probably this probably at least twelve thousand. 